Okay, I'm going to redo part two because I went on for 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm going to start from the beginning. So what, what happens, the basic way that we have, that we right now have a national security problem, and we have a um, such a, a high rate of infestation amongst amongst users that it's almost impossible to do a Google or a Yahoo search with, with without coming up in your results with at least one or two poisoned results. That um, that it's you know we're we're in pretty bad shape right now, and the reason why we are is because people are frankly combination of two things there <laughs> I don't mean to offend anybody but this is this is a wake-up call that'll probably won't be heard and it probably won't be heard because um, of what I'm gonna say um, but the, for the one part a lot of people are just flat-out lazy <laughs> uh, but it's not meant to be an insult that's just the way it is uh, for the other part there's a lot of people that are um, uneducated about what they what the tools that are available to them to be able to recover from uh, an absolute compromise of their operating system in, 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 a, in a very short time if you know you can recover from it if you have the right tools and those tools don't cost you anything those tools can be absolutely free uh, I've already done a video on using part image uh, to back up and restore your um, your partition, and I've already done a video on uh, loading up antivirus programs in Linux. Although that really isn't the end-all solution. Basically, I see antivirus products as a post um, post break-in forensic tool to figure out maybe a week later what exactly these, uh, this virus writer was trying to do to you. But it certainly isn't protection in the here and now, as uh, the viruses that are constantly updated very quickly. And that's the point of this article. I'm going to point out right here. It says you're not paranoid. Your antivirus just doesn't work that well. Now it may seem like it's uh, shock. Uh, you know, Fox News type of uh, journalism there, but I'll tell you it isn't. Um, we have a real problem. We have 25% of the, the, the country's computers are on the internet that are infected right now. 25%. A lot of those computers send out volumes of spam messages in a year. I did a calculation on my first take of this video that uh, basically roughly kind of shows you, I was going to make a point that I missed, is that uh, there were close to 13,000 spam messages sent that reached this server right here. And that was after our ISP had already filtered out some spam and, and viruses from their end. Then it reached us and our, our filters caught it in the server. And of those 12,000 that had um, gotten through, there was only about 600 that were viruses, but still, and that's over the course of a year, so if you really think about it, and malware, and uh, I call it botware, just uh, software that's designed to um, make your Windows operating system be part of a uh, remotely controlled computer that could be used for attacks, spamming, and of course, not to leave you out, uh, to take any personal information they can find off your computer and upload it for their collection and later sale. Um, that's a rate of about two spam, two viruses, two very threatening viruses a day with two levels of protection. And what the scary thing about it is is that these these virus programs can run and install themselves without you ever knowing it ever happened to you. There was one guy that was, uh, I think he said his name was Big Bart, he's got a YouTube video, and he was, he was describing what happened to him, this is back in 2006. Um, that's a little early for what I would, but I guess not. 
and basically his ISP had contacted him and said, said that his computer was used for sending out loads of spam. Well, I bet you his computer, I bet you all his personal information has been compromised and taken. And I bet you there was a rootkit installed on his computer. And what a rootkit is is something that installs itself as a part of your operating system and modifies the behavior of your operating system to such a level that um, you better be someone that knows how to uh, to program Windows, or you better reinstall it. Otherwise, you're you're not going to recover from it because it actually changes the way your your operating system behaves. And part of that behavior change of course is that data collection that they do and this can happen by just going to the wrong web page and not clicking on a thing yet there's a lot of people out there that still think that um, they don't have a virus unless something something jumps out of them and tells them hey I have a virus I have a virus either it's the antivirus program that that finds it before it polymorphs into something undetectable or <clears throat> it's um, some kind of odd behavior like they can't connect to certain web pages anymore or the keyboard doesn't work in certain ways or whatever their monitor starts going black every 10 seconds or you know whatever it happens to be but uh, since money is the motivation money is the motivation behind what these people do now both in selling their data collection and selling the service of sending uh, distributed denial of service uh, of service attacks against um, companies or um, utility companies to take to maybe cause a rolling blackout or um, your um, or who knows they may be trying to say there's been tens of millions of dollars stolen there's a good report by 60 minutes it's on YouTube that um, it's so outside and, and, and the, w the reason why this works is, is a combination of people's flat out lack of education with computers and I'll get more into this in a sec